Hi, today I'm going to teach you how to play My Small Garden. First thing that you'll need to do is decide which difficulty you're going to be playing at. We suggest playing at casual difficulty to start off with and working your way up from there. You'll always play with the higher lower goal card. And as you go along, we suggest adding in some of these and then if you want to, adding in some of the harder goals. Quickly, to start your game, you're going to separate your seed cards from your plants cards, shuffle up each of these decks, and put them down near you. If you're playing with two players, the process is still the same uh, at the very beginning. One, flip over the top card into the center of the table, and two, draw two of each card from each deck. If you were playing with two players, you would draw two more from each deck for that player. Um, I'm going to show you the solo for this how-to. The same except for the players don't talk between each other. And the players alternate turns. Whoever wishes to start playing first can play first. So on your turn, what you're going to do is you are going to play down one card from your hand into the center area. You have to play it adjacent to to a card that is already there. And you must alternate uh, the color cards that you play. So um, I can only play, because this is a uh, white plant card, I can only play one of my black seed cards next to it. So I have, to, I have a choice. I can play either my two or my 20. Um, this card uh, wants a multiple of four on the top and the bottom which this 20 fortunately is, and a card that is higher than it on the sides. Unfortunately, the 2 doesn't fulfill any of these four requirements, so I'm going to play this 20. I can play it underneath. I could play it on any side, but I'm going to play it underneath for right now. And once you've laid down a card, you will never look at it again. Next, because I've finished my turn, I get to draw up one card. I can do it from either pile, but since I just played down a black card, I'm going to draw from the uh, seed pile. Now it's my turn again. So I can play, now I can play either a white card around the seed card, or I can play a black card around this white card. Um, black cards you'll always play face down. These white plant cards you'll always play face up. Now, I know that this is a times four, so it makes sense. I'm going to play this card right here. So it keeps that kind of system going, and I want to make sure that this card is higher than both three and one. I'm going to draw up, and I continue to play. Also, I should note that as you're building out your garden, you can only build it four by four. If at any point I have a hand of cards that I don't think I can lay anything from, I can discard my entire hand of cards to the side, uh, face down, and draw up one less cards that I had in my hand. So because I discarded four, I can draw up to three cards. And I can do this from any uh, pile. Um, so I can take, looks like I probably want two from this black pile and one from my plants pile. Okay, now that I have my 4x4 four four grid built out, um, I no longer need these cards, I can put them to the side. And I'm going to go through this entire uh, grid and first check for my higher lower goal, which in this game is my only goal. Now, because I'm playing casual, I can remove up to two cards uh, from my grid. If I was playing with another player, that would be bumped up to three cards from this grid. So I want to remove as, as few cards as possible um, once I check for my goals. Goals will tell you which cards you will need to remove. For the higher lower card, it says remove all seed cards that don't follow this goal or that don't fulfill this goal. So I'm going to go through one by one. I'm going to check the number on the card and make sure it like fulfills both of these cards. So this six is higher than three and one, so it's good. 
this 14 is higher than 13 and 3 and is lower than 21, so we're good with that. The 16 is lower than 21, is a multiple of 4, so we're good with that. This 20 is a multiple of 4, so we're good on that one. This 12 is not lower than 11, so we're going to need to discard it. It gets composted. So, this is my final grid. Because I only removed one card, I win. Once you've played it a little bit more, you can start to add in some more uh, goals. Now, these have to do with the pots that these plants are in. You want to make sure that the arrangement of your garden is pleasing. So what you will do is you will choose how many of these extra goals you will play with. Um, now, you'll notice that this has to do with this type of pot. And if I was playing this game right here, surprisingly, I would only need to remove this pot right here, which doesn't fulfill the goal. So it says, have only directly adjacent pairs of square pots. And we have a directly adjacent pair of that, directly adjacent pair of this one. And when I was checking this goal after the higher lower card, I would remove this card because it is not directly adjacent to another square card. So I'd be composting two cards. Um, on casual, when I have two goals, I can remove up to three cards on solo mode. Um, so I would still win. And that's my small garden. We hope you enjoy.